Thanks for watching. I'm Margo Kinberg, and this is In the Spotlight, a closer look at a crime novel. In some crime stories, the characters' histories, the characters' backstories, are as important in the novel as the mystery itself. In fact, they can actually form a separate plot thread. Let's look at a case of that today and turn the spotlight on Carrie Wilkinson's The One Who Fell. Millie Westlake lives and works in the small English town of Whitecliffe. She has a dog grooming dog spa business, but she isn't really welcome in the town itself. She's got a past that a lot of the residents don't forgive. She is, though, very welcome at the local elder care home where she volunteers. <clears throat> one day, she's spending time with one of the home's residents, Ingrid, when Ingrid starts talking about seeing a girl pushed from a nearby roof. At first, the story sounds fantastical and Ingrid does have some cognitive issues. But some of the things that she says ring too true to be dismissed, and she is insistent. So Millie gets curious about what might have happened. She's just starting to ask a few questions when she gets a visit from journalist Guy Rushton. He formerly worked for the local newspaper, but now has his own news website. Millie has every reason to resent Gary, more on that shortly. But she does speak with him and she finds out that he has a quest of his own that he wants her input on. She tells him about the girl Ingrid described and before either of them really know it, they're both looking for answers. It's not gonna be easy though. At first, Millie is the only one who believes Ingrid's story. Besides, there's no evidence that a girl was pushed from the roof. There's been no body, none of that. There's no blood, there's no other evidence. And a visit to the home in question gives no more information. But there are little suggestions that something might have happened. And as Millie and Guy look into the case more, they find some unsavory secrets. So what holds this story together? What elements keep it going? Character history is an important element in the story. And in this case, that history is arguably a second main plot line. From the beginning, readers get hints about what happened to make Millie an outcast for a lot of people. We also learn about her current situation. She's a divorcee with a son, so she has to negotiate that very delicate situation as best she can. She's got secrets too that we learn as the story goes on. Guy too has a past and as the novel unfolds, we learn about the rift between him and Millie. And in case you're wondering, no, Guy and Millie do not start a romance they don't have a romantic past. Still, both of them have histories that form a critical plot thread. Another element in the story is the small town atmosphere. Everyone knows everyone, and everyone is someone's relative, coworker, friend. That makes it even harder for Millie since it's almost impossible for her to escape her past because everyone knows about it and to escape what the town thinks of her. It's a bit claustrophobic and it adds tension to the novel. The main mystery, was a girl really pushed from the roof, and if so, who was it and why, is revealed, mostly through Millie and Guy putting the pieces together. That said, though, there are larger questions that are left unanswered. Readers who dislike story arcs that lead to the next book in a series will notice this. The novel isn't what you call light or cozy. Still, there is little violence and no real explicitness. And there is some humor here and there throughout the story. The One Who Fell is the story of a small town and its secrets. It features a cliffside setting, a mystery about whether there even is a mystery, and two sleuths whose pasts are woven into the history of the town. This has been In the Spotlight. I'm Margot Kinberg. Thanks for watching.